Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to explain how to set and read MicroPipet volume. Actually what we are going to do today, we are going to read all these uh, numbers and if you would be able to read them, you also would be able to set them. First of all, you cannot use just one MicroPipet to take any volume you like. As you see, we have different MicroPipets and P here stand for pipet and number below stand for the maximum volume we can work with this micropipet and you don't have to memorize which micropipet works with what range. It's actually also shown on each micropipet. But of course, while you're working with these micropipets, there are not too many of them, you also can just memorize this range of volumes. So P10 can work with 0.5 and up to 10 microliters. Micro means one millionth. In this case, one millionth of the liter. Maybe you know in uh, our daily life, minimum volume of the liquid is one milliliter, which is one thousandth of the liter. Usually we do not work in daily life with microliters, so it is thousand times smaller than milliliter. And for example, P20, the range is between two and 20 microliters. We only can work with this range. P200 between 20 and 200 microliters and P1000 between 200 and 1000 microliters. 1000 microliters as you now know, equal to one milliliter. Now let's check our first marker pipette. So how to read what we have here. If you think that this is seven microliters, it is not so. So imagine that between black and red numbers, we put here a decimal point. So these numbers here means 0.7 microliters. Next, these numbers, if you think that this is 93 microliters, this is not so. First of all, because the range is between 0 0.5 and 10 microliters, so 10 is maximum. Again, we just put here a decimal point between 9 and 3, between black and red numbers. And now we understand that this is 9.3 microliters, so 9.3 microliters. Now let's move to the next micropipet, which is P20. That means that all the readings we can get here between two and 20 microliters. Again, we put decimal point here and here. So now we understand that on the left we have two point zero microliters and on the right it is not 160 it is 16.0 microliters. Now let's move to the next marker pipette P200 and the range between 20 and 200 microliters. Now it is a little bit confusing. What should we put here? So this is three but what do we have here? Is it three and seven and something in between? Actually, we have seven on the right and eight on the left. It is not three, it is eight. So between seven and eight, we are going to get three, seven and half. So here we have 37.5 microliters. And what do we have here on the right? As you see, we don't have any red numbers here, just like here, so we don't have any like decimal point here. And we just read exactly what we see, 173 or 173 microliters, 173 microliters. And as you see, both these readings are within this range. On the micropipet P1000, there are also 
peculiarities how we read these numbers. So the range between 200 and 1000 microliters, but how do we read this? Is it 46.5 like uh, we had it here, 37.5? No, here it means 465 microliters. 465 microliters. And how do we read numbers? Here on the right, is it 100? Actually, no. Here we have 1000, maximum what we can get. In the first row here, we cannot get any numbers between 0 and 9. We only can get 0 or 1. And 1 is the maximum what we can get here. So this is not 100, this means 1 thousand microliters. We also can say one milliliter. By the way, as you see, this number is red. So we also can put a decimal point here. And instead of 1000 microliters, we can say that this is one milliliter. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.